Could you tell me the gods in Hindu mythology? Who are they? What do they do? Where do they live, sister? What about Lord Shiva? I want to know about their family. Who are their family? Tell me about Vishnu's family. Who are the parents of Lakshmi? Does Lakshmi Deva has any siblings? But who is Shiva's family? But who is the mother of Parvati? But who are Rama and Krishna? But why is Vishnu is incarnated as Rama and Krishna? What is a yoga sister? What will Kaiki do? After last incarnation, what will happen? So all you guys will repeat again? No sister, you didn't tell me your parents of Trinity. Happy Hanuman Dayanti to all. My brother gets so many doubts about Hindu mythology. So here are the answers for his doubts. We are making this video for his friends too. Because they may also get the same doubts. Isn't it Sriman Narayana? Maybe. So ask me your first doubt. Could you tell me the gods in Hindu mythology? Yes, but I can't tell you all the gods names. Because there is one god for every element or everything. So I will tell you the three main gods called the Trimurtis. We also call them as the Trinity. Who are they? Who are they? Yes. The three main gods are Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Also known as Maheshwara. What do they do sister? I am going to tell their main purposes. Brahma is the creator. He has four heads. Vishnu is the preserver of the earth. He protects all human beings from the demons. The Shiva is the destroyer. Where do they live, sister? Brahma lives in Satyaloka. But where does Vishnu live? <laughs> you know that, right? In your Venkateshwara Swami costume, you already told it. In your speech about Venkateshwara Swami. Try to remember it. Is it Vaikuntha? Good. Lord Vishnu is in Vaikuntha. What about Lord Shiva? Lord Shiva lives on Mount Kailash. I know it is in Himalayas. Yes. It is the mountain range from Earth. I want to know about their family. Who are their family? Brahma's wife is Goddess Saraswati. Brahma has some mind-created children. He has 11 children who are forefathers of human race called Prajapatis. And he also had 7 children who are great sages, Saptarishis. Can you name some children? Sure. Some of them are Narada, Daksha, Himavan, Drugu and Atri. Narada is known for his music. Daksha is the father of Sati Devi. And Himavan is the father of Parvati Devi. Tell me about Vishnu's family. Okay. Vishnu's wife is Goddess Lakshmi. She is the goddess of wealth and prosperity. The children of Lord Vishnu are Kamadeva, Valli Devi and Devasena. He has Devasena and Valli from Bhudevi. Devasena and Valli are wives of Subramanyeshwara Swami. He also has another son, Ayappa, in Mohini Avatara. Who are the parents of Lakshmi sister? According to Vishnu Purana, the goddess was incarnated when Devas and Asuras churned the cosmic Shira Sagar. So she is said to be the daughter of the sea god. Does Lakshmi Deva has any siblings? Yes, she has siblings. She has a sister called Alakshmi. And the moon is also her brother as 
He appeared from the ocean during the churning of the Kshira Sagar. Oh, is it? Yes. What about Shiva's family? I'm coming to it. Shiva's first wife is Sati Devi. She was the daughter of Daksha Prajap. Do you hear that? I hear the Shankam song. Is the Shankam song like it? Yes. Maybe we're blessed by Lord Shiva. Shiva's first wife is Sati Devi. She was the daughter of Daksha Prajap. Sati Devi gave her life because of some situations and reincarnated as Parvati Devi, who is the daughter of Himavan, the king of the mountains. Sister, is he the king of Kailash too? No. Uh, what about his kids? But who is the mother of Parvati? Mother of Parvati is Mainavati Devi. Does she also have siblings? Yes, she does. She has an elder brother. I don't know much, but she definitely has an elder brother. What about children? As you know, I've told you about Valli and Devasena. I told you that they are the wives of Subramanyeshwara Swami. Subramanyeshwara Swami is the son of Shiva and Parvati. You know the brother of Kartikeya, don't you? You told it in a speech. Om Vinayaka. Ganesha? Yes. We pray to him first. He is also the child of Shiva and Parvati. Shiva and Parvati also have a daughter named Ashok Sundari. Some sources say that Shiva has a total of nine children. Ayappa is the son of Vishnu and Shiva. But who are Rama and Krishna. Rama and Krishna are the incarnations of Lord Vishnu. But why is Vishnu is incarnated as Rama and Krishna? It is believed that in every yuga, Lord Vishnu takes incarnations. In this world, when virtue and dharma have disappeared, when the world was ruled by the unjust and to protect the innocents, what is a yuga sister? In Hindu cosmology, the time periods are divided into yugas. There are a total of four yugas. They are Kruta or Satya Yuga, second Treta Yuga, third Dwapar Yuga and fourth Kali Yuga. In the Satya Yuga, Lord Vishnu incarnated as Matya, Kurma and Varaha. In Treta Yuga, he incarnated as Vamana, Narasimha, Parasurama and your favorite character Sri Rama. In Vapari Yuga, he incarnated as Lord Krishna. What about in Kali Yuga? We are in Kali Yuga. In the starting of Kali Yuga, Lord Vishnu incarnated as Buddha and Venkateswara Swami. It is believed that at the end of Kali Yuga, he will incarnate as Kalki. He is yet to appear. What is the duty of Kaiki? Now we are only in this yuga, sister. Yes. What will Kaiki do? He destroys the evil and establishes a new age. He will be born in Shambhala in Himalaya. Some sources say so. After the last incarnation, what will happen, sister? Kaiki will take care of the earth and stabilize everything and make sure dharma is protected. After he departs, people will live in harmony with nature and the Satya Yuga starts again. So goes the cycle and again Kali Yuga and it starts again. So all Yugas will repeat again? Yes, maybe all the incarnations will repeat also. So I think it is over. No sister, you didn't tell me your parents of Trinity. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. There is no certainty on the birth of the Trinity. Some sources say that there are no parents for Lord Vishnu and Shiva. According to some, Brahma is self-born out of a lotus flower which grew from the navel of Vishnu. He is known as Padmanabha Swami. According to some sources, we are told that matter came first as the goddess Adi Shakti and from her came the Trinity. If you are not satisfied, when you grow and you are capable of reading, you search yourself. Do research.
then you can tell me the answer as well. Okay, thank you, sister. I hope all your doubts are clarified. So, Rama is born in Treta Yuga. So, Rama is from Treta Yuga. Krishna is from Dwapar Yuga. Both are incarnations of Lord Vishnu only. Satisfied? Yes. Thank you, sister. I hope these videos help you a lot. Can you to tell me about Rama and Krishna, sister? Okay. First, I will tell about Rama. Because Trita Yoga happened first. So we start with Ramayan. Are you happy? Yes. Are you interested? Yes. Thank you. This is only the intro. We are starting a series on Ramayana on the occasion of Hanuman Jayanti. This is the intro. We are making series on the Ramayana on the occasion of Hanuman Jayanti. Jai Sri Ram, Jai Sita Ram, Jai Hanuman, Sri Ram Ram Rameti, Rame Rame, Mano Rame, Sahasranam, Tatulyam, Ramanam, Varanane, Jai Sri Ram.